All right, welcome back to another video on Modern Warfare. Uh, first, before I actually get into this video, I'd like to you know thank all the people that you know that's been subscribing so far, like literally just like a couple hours in between, even probably like minutes. Uh, you know, I'm always getting new people. We're actually on the verge of getting uh, 40 subscribers. You know, hopefully up to 50 or you know half a hundred. Uh, you know, that's most people would set their milestone at 100 and stuff, but. You know, just getting people in general, just watching all these videos, I think is actually pretty solid. Uh, you know, I hope I'm actually making content that you guys enjoy watching. If you guys have any, like, you know, uh, things that you want to, uh, like, comment down in the videos, like, things that probably can make the videos better uh, or more enjoyable to you guys, I'm always uh, open, open to hear it. As you know, I'm uh, just making all these videos and stuff, just... Making it to where it's it's a little bit more fun for you guys to watch. You probably you know get to learn a couple of things like for certain builds and stuff on Modern Warfare. And like I've been saying in uh, previous videos and stuff, I don't just need to post Modern Warfare. Uh, Modern Warfare. If you guys want to see like other games and stuff, uh, let me know. I primarily go off of the PS5, uh, but yeah, any kind of games you guys would want to see, uh, I can probably post a couple of videos and stuff on. I'm going to try to. Uh, get a little bit of Modern Warfare and Rainbow Six Siege into the mix. Uh, so it kind of makes the, the gameplay a little bit different here. But yeah, so I just wanted to go ahead and, you know, have a real quick thanks to all you guys for subscribing to the channel. It really means a lot. And uh, let's go ahead and get to the the builds and stuff in the video. So what we're going to be looking at, it's going to be like a two-parter uh, video to the sniper rifle builds, which you guys have seen earlier, where I was going over the heavier snipers. Like the HDR, uh, the AX50, and the Rytec AMR or the Barrett. And uh, so right now I want to be going over the Marksman Rifle uh, builds. Primarily the ones that have a one-shot uh, kill to the upper chest. Uh, that will be excluding the the SKS and the EBR-14. Because they can get a one-shot kill to the head, but nowhere else. They would have, them have a minimum of two shots unless you're playing in hardcore, of course. But yeah, so let's go ahead. And start with the one that's uh, on the highest on the list, which is the Mark II Carbine. Probably the most aggressive uh, playing uh, rifle in this whole entire deal. It is very much for quick scopes. It is insanely, insanely fast for mobility for a gun that can get a one-shot kill area uh, for the upper chest. But really, really high in the upper chest. Like you almost have to land, like almost on the almost on the head there, like almost at the neck kind of deal. Uh, so it is a lot harder to get the one shot uh you know kills there but if you get like really really good at it you know this gun has a large amount of skill that you need to have in order to use it but if you can master it it is an absolute monster of a, uh, a gun it is a lever action so it doesn't shoot automatic but it is way faster than all the other bolt action rifles which is pretty solid so let me go ahead and uh i'm really decking it out to where it's going to be the fastest it can possibly get because like I said it's meant for like quick scopes and all that kind of stuff not meant for long range engagements it does have up to like a 40 meter uh, effective damage range but that's uh, that's about it really it's not like the car 98 or anything else uh, it's meant for being like close to medium range engagements which is a kind of odd for marksman rifle but yeah that's what we got so laser it only has one option to laser we will select the attack laser just to speed up the the aim down sight speed. The stock. Uh, we're going to go with the FSS Mark II Sport Comb. Also to speed up the aim down sight speed. Uh, perk. We're going to run the Sleight of Hand. Because I believe this gun only holds 6 rounds in it at a time. Uh, that you have to feed singular like rounds. Or like each individual round uh, manually there. So Sleight of Hand is definitely a, uh, a must for this gun. Uh, rear grip, we want to go for a stipple grip tape, mostly for the sprint to fire speed, but also, of course, you know, for the aim down sight speed. And that's pretty much like all the attachments you need. You could probably put on the optic too if you want to make it more look like a sniper, like the seven times scope. You can put that on there. Uh, I would skip out on all the barrels because all these barrels just make it to where that it has a longer range. You can run it if you want to. Uh, with all the speed to it to make it to where it's even better but I just run the normal barrel to give it as fast of a, a shot as possible I do run muzzle brake on here uh, kind of the same reason for the bigger sniper rifles for the better recentering 
uh, for your gun there, even though it is lever action, it just helps out with recoil, uh, really. So it's this is pretty much it. So the muzzle brake, tack laser, FSS, a Mark II sport comb, slide of hand, and stipple grip tape. Uh, really, really fun gun to use. It takes a lot, a lot of skill to master, but if you can get it, you're absolutely solid. It's like using the, the 50GS handgun from the Desert Eagle. So down to the classic, everyone loves this one, Car 98K. The other quick scoping marksman rifle. Uh, a little bit bigger of a one-shot kill area to the upper chest, uh, but a lot slower, of course, due to the bolt. But it's going to be pretty much the same build. Uh, tack laser for name down sight speed. Stock, we're going to go with the F Tack Sport Comb for name down sight speed. Slide of hand because uh, this thing does feed through a clip, not a magazine, since it is like a way more outdated gun. It does feed through a clip, but if you do have a sniper scope on it, he will, uh, your guy will do like singular rounds being fed into it. So slide of hand, same way like the the Mark II carbine, definitely a must. Uh, I believe this thing only holds five to six rounds in it as well. So, yeah, that's definitely something out of run. Uh, but I try to not run the optic. Uh, the bolt or, like, the iron sights itself there is actually pretty good. Uh, the muzzle, again, same thing. Muzzle brake near the end. It's actually a lot smaller, so it doesn't, you know, take up a large amount of room on your gun. So it looks a little bit better. Yeah, same exact deal. Uh, for the fifth one, I... You know, you can also put on civil grip tape or just print the fire speed, aim on sight speed. Really, these two are all about making it to where it's fast as possible uh, for the kind of, you know, actual, like, handling and stuff here. Because the marksman rifles, they are, like, the more aggressive play styles to the, the bigger rifles. Like the HDR AX-50 and Rytek AMR, Dragonov excluded. Uh, but, yeah, so this is kind of, like, the more faster uh, version of the guns here. They're a lot faster, but they take a lot more skill because you got to aim up in the in the upper chest in order to get a kill off of them instead of you know normally with like the 50 cal snipers or the bigger ones you have to, you can hit in the entire torso and get a one shot kill. But the SPR 208 or the Remington 700 I love the most. This one's really good because you can do a ton of stuff to it to make it really fast. You can go to the barrel, uh, select the ZLR uh, ASP or the ASP. And the pros being hand down sight speed, movement speed, uh, bullet velocity, recoil control, and aiming stability being the cons. Uh, typical stuff coming from a very small barrel that you can get on the gun. The one thing I do hate about it is that it's a carbine barrel, so it kind of makes this weird looking uh, pattern, I guess, or like look to the actual barrel. But aside from that, it's pretty cool. That's just a look to it, it doesn't affect anything. But from there, laser, you know, you want to go with the tack laser, I'll put a black version on there so it kind of matches the matte black with this. Uh, from there to stock, now you want to go with the stock and you want to select uh, the XRK SP Lite 208 or 208 Blitz stock. This will give you a tremendous amount of aim walking movement speed, uh, aim down sight speed, and sprint to fire speed is what we're really wanting here. That's the, the animation of you running with your gun. Uh, to like bring it up for aiming. You sprinting to firing. Which is really cool. So it kind of makes this weird, uh, I want to say ugly kind of look to the gun, but it is one of the faster ways you could possibly build it. Now, if you want to make it to where it's like really, really good for like going on long streaks, I would go with a 10 round magazine, but I'll just keep it to the five uh, because I could just put on side of hand. And you can also put on uh, the Salone KR600 Feather, which I love, and this is the uh, bolt that you can put on to where it can rechamber uh, rounds faster uh, than the base one. Do not put on the Salone KR800 because that slows your rechamber speed, and it is a pain in the butt uh, to actually deal with. It's really just a useless attachment. No one ever uses it, and this is pretty much the entire build. Unless you want to switch sleight of hand with a 10 round, you can. So this is going to be the fastest deal. So the smallest barrel, tack laser, XRK, SP Lite, 208 Blitz, that's a very long name for stock, slide of hand, and Salone KR600 Feather uh, for the, sla the, the faster bolt. And we are going to leave the muzzle brake off of the gun. And this is pretty much going to be one of my favorite builds when I'm running around trying to quickscope people. This is what I would be using. The SPR is 
hands down, way better than the Car 98. It looks better than Car 98. And also, you know, from earlier builds I showed, you can put on Lapua rounds on this thing to make it towards a one-shot kill in the entire torso. Of course, it weighs down your gun a ton, but uh, that is a really cool thing that it has over all the other marksman rifles. So there we go. That is all three builds to the marksman rifles of the Mark II Carbine, the Car 98K, and the SPR 208 or the Remington 700. And uh, yeah, so this one's going to be a little bit faster than the normal like 50 cal sniper rifle video. Uh, mostly because they're all going to be running pretty much to the same exact build. Uh, all these guys are mostly there for quick scoping. Of course, if you want to make it to where they go for a longer range, especially for like, you know, the Runeton, you can put on the scope. And the longest barrel being the SPR 26 inch uh, barrel the monolithic suppressor and the Lapua rounds. Now you got yourself a insanely fast uh, bullet time to travel. Uh, it is like, or uh, yeah, like for the actual time for the bullet to actually travel towards the target, it goes well over 1,000 uh, for a marksman rifle. And I talk about this in a uh, different video for the build. And of course, you know, you have the rechamber speed for the, the bolt. I always run that, run that almost on every one of my builds. So yeah, there we go. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. This one's a lot faster. Uh, you know the channel's growing actually fairly fast. Uh, I love all you guys, you know, actually commenting down in the videos. And, uh, you know, always there to support my actual subscribers. You know, so far we have a pretty small number of y'all right now. So I'm really down for any kind of requests and stuff. It's not really going to, like, swamp anything uh, in terms of, like, replies and things like that. So... If you guys want to see anything specific, let me know. I already had uh, one guy earlier, uh, you know, the panda, if I want to go ahead and say his name in the video here, or for his actual YouTube deal, I recommend go checking him out. Uh, he has a couple of videos and stuff going up. He recommended a video not too long ago. And yeah, I'm really good for any of you guys that actually want uh, to see any kind of specific video like that. So this is going to be like the two-parter episode to going over the sniper builds that I would run. Uh, especially for the Marsden Rifles. If you guys want to see like any of the uh, specialty weapons like the crossbow and the like shotgun that you can turn into like a sniper rifle, you know, just let me know. I, I can turn, I can go over those things and go over my best build uh, for those. And I'm going to be making another video, probably not today, but maybe tomorrow. But it's going to be going over all the conversion kits and stuff like different ways that you can build weapons and things and have like the best builds for that and those are going to be different parters uh like different part videos for each category of weapons so uh look out for that and uh yeah thank you guys for watching and i'll see y'all in the next one